Hi everybody, today I just have some updates for you. So let's start with the Some Channel Series 2. Some of you asked me to put in an input gain control in the desk input section. And this ran me into a problem because as you can see, the input section is already full with knobs. And so I had to do one thing I really wanted to avoid with the Series 2 plugins. But sometimes your wishes are more important than my Series 2 concept. So now from the menu, you can change the um, knob, the first knob here, to the gain control. Now it is the input gain for all the plugin. It's the first um, thing that happens to the signal in the plugin. And I can switch that back to the saturation knob. And there's also a quick access for this. And this is hold alt on your keyboard on some Apple keyboards, it's option. And now if I click that knob while holding alt, the saturation knob turns into the gain knob. And as I release the mouse, it will be the saturation knob again. Or if I say show gain knob, it is the gain knob. And when I hold alt and click the knob, it will be the saturation knob. And there's something cool you can do with that. Let's first hear some music. Because if you have the clippers on, the soft clip is enough, and you drive the signal hotter, then it will be in a way like an analog mixer, and it will distort the single channel. And then there was some debugging for the um, green dynamic EQ. And this was still about some parameters that weren't saved correctly, or if you did a drag and drop in the mixer with a plugin, they weren't restored correctly. Or if you sent this to an offline effect and turned it online again, the knobs were wrong. So I hope I fixed that now. The next fix is for the Guitar Station Series 2. And there we had this issue, if you selected no amp, it worked. And if you saved your session and reloaded it, this plugin muted the signal. And you had to go and switch to an amp and go back to no amp again, and then the signal was there. But the level of the signal depended on which amp you chose and what was dialed in and stuff. And so I literally fixed that level for no amp. So that should work now too. The next fix is about the Lime de because that changed the um, graphics for the analyzer depending on the oversampling you set there. And that is now fixed, so it gives you always the same picture. So, not too much new today, but some fixes, and I hope you have fun with the plugins, and bye bye.